Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Hawaii Autograde, the new automatic image correction plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 from Tokyo Productions and Lawn Road, available exclusively through Effects Factory. Designed primarily as an automatic white balance tool for when your camera was set incorrectly in the field, Hawaii Autograde offers a whole lot more than that. In fact, it's the most accurate, most powerful, best value autocorrection plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 that you can buy. So let's take a look at how it works. I've got a clip on my timeline which, as you can see, is very washed out, with the white balance skewed much too warm. I've already added Hawaii Autograde from my effects browser, but we can't see any results just yet, and that's because we need to set up at least one reference point for the colour correction. A lot of white balancers use just one single colour picker, and this can work fine, but they won't usually get the best results out of flat looking shots like these. If you want to work with just a single pick, then you can use the global picker and get a good result with most types of shot. Let's look at it at work on a different image, which is also too warm looking. All we need to do is select an area that's anywhere from grey to white, which means an area that would have been monochrome if the camera's white balance had been set correctly. I could, for instance, pick the crest of the waves here and get a decent result. But I could also pick the highlight on this dark grey truck and get a similarly good result if I adjust the global correction slider, which scales back the input to the white balance calculation. All you need to remember is that the darker the selected area, the more you'll need to scale back the correction value, and vice versa. Coming back to my original shot, which is very flat looking and lacking in colour contrast, I'm going to use all three selectors, so we can really make it come alive. I'll click on the colour swatch to bring up the Mac colour picker, and I'll pick the peak of the cap for the global value. I'll choose the lower part of the sky for my white point, and I'll go for somewhere in here on the edge of the cap for the black value. Remember that we're looking for the luminance values that the camera actually saw, not the actual real world tones. It's important not to pick something that you know is white, but that the camera saw as much darker because it was in heavy shade. And now I'll hit enable correction to see the result. Instantly the shot is looking much more balanced with lots of great colour contrast. We've recaptured the blue of the sky and we can see a lot more definition in the colours of the cap. And because Autograde uses Auto Levels technology as well as Auto Colour, the brightness and contrast of the shot have also been automatically improved. You'll really be amazed at how much this plugin can improve your shot, so much so that you'll find yourself using it even on shots that just need a bit more life. Autograde uses an advanced white balance algorithm that much more closely approximates the way the human optical system responds to colour, and that all adds up to results that are much smoother, more lifelike and more pleasing to the eye. OK, so we've got our instant correction, but there's a huge amount of extra control that's provided inside Autograde that really helps you get the best out of any shot. First of all, I'm going to tweak the exposure. I'll bring down those whites just a little to bring them more into line, and I'll adjust the saturation to get a nice rich looking result. If we think the autocorrection has gone a bit too far, we can always use the correction adjustment sliders to dial it back. Autograde is actually recalculating the correction as you ease back on the controls. We could even come down to the fine-tune colour section and manually adjust the temperature of the shot and its green magenta bias. If I want to dive in and make some really fine-grained adjustments, I can tweak the individual colour parameters for blacks, mids and whites, making this a really powerful one-stop grading tool. I can even legalise the final output if the programme is going out to broadcast. But there's even more we can do, and this is the fun stuff. Hawaii Autograde comes with an extensive set of presets, so that we can very quickly get not just a nicely balanced shot, but a shot that really has what it takes to stand out. To do this, we'll turn on Quick Fix Enable and use the Quick Fix menu to choose our look. 
For this shot, I might try the classic S-curve look to really give it some punch. Or we could try the popular cross-processed look. Or even maybe bleach bypass. And I can use the mix slider to adjust the intensity of any of the preset looks. The black and white preset is a lot more than just a monochrome switch. We've carefully emulated the colour response curves of one of our favourite black and white film stocks to create something just a bit more special. These quick fixes can even work independently of the auto correction, so you might find yourself using autograde a lot more often than you'd think. Hopefully, this brief introduction has shown you just how much you can do with Hawaii Autograde. From instant automatic corrections, to advanced colour balancing, to professional polished looks. Hawaii Autograde is available through Effects Factory, which means there's a fully functional free trial version that you can experience right now. Thanks for watching.